I'm Sister Janet Weicker and I'm the director of the Racine Dominican Eco Justice Center. And today is a really climax day of about nine months of uh, effort toward getting more renewable energy at our uh, site. The Eco Justice Center is about environmental education and care for the earth. Investing in renewable energy was one of our guidelines. We wanted to have as much renewable energy here as we could, so we started with a 55 panel solar array on a, our granary, which was built in 1870. And we also have solar hot water panels in our house that provide all of our hot water. And we have a geothermal heating and cooling system as well for the house. Well, we've been enjoying that for about five years now and thinking it's great to get a check from the electric company about six months of the year and six months of the year we get a bill. And we thought, Someone asked uh, how much money we save by having the solar, and I said, well, it's, we save about $2,000 a year. And one of our sisters asked, well, why don't you have uh, a wind turbine as well? And I said, well, at this moment, uh, we can't quite afford it. So it was the Racine Community Foundation then who said maybe we could help with that wind turbine. But before we could apply for our grant, I needed to get a site assessment done to find out whether indeed it's worthwhile financially and otherwise. Well, Sister Janet at first originally called us for a wind site assessment uh, just to really see what their property could produce in wind power. And I did the site assessment. And they called other installers and, and throughout the state, including myself, to get an estimate for installing the wind system. And that's really how we got set up as well, too. They'll produce probably close to uh, 15 to 16,000 kilowatt hours with this turbine in a year's time frame. It's on a 140 foot freestanding lattice tower. The blade diameter is 23 feet, 10 kilowatt system, um, you know, made in Norman, Oklahoma. So very, uh, their logo is tornado tough. I mean, designed for 134 mile an hour winds. So a very tough turbine and been in business since 1983. This has been um, even less than a year in the planning and it's just real exciting to seeing, seeing it go up today. Uh, it's amazing. And we're hoping to be free of fossil fuels within a couple weeks. With, and uh, every time it's going to be windy outside, we're gonna say yay, energy. It's immense gratitude for everybody who has helped us do this. We certainly couldn't have done it on our own, and we think Tennis Cornwolf is smiling on us from above because uh, he and Marion sold us this 15-acre site for less than the assessed value, and uh, we ended up talking a lot during that year and a half that I knew him before he died, and uh, he taught me a lot of things about politics and how you go around. Uh, getting permits that you need and uh, making friends with people and I remember one day having a conversation with Dennis and telling him everything we wanted to do here and he says well Janet I hope you live to be 125 <laughs> so you can accomplish what you want uh, what you have dreamed of and now we've got people coming here and said I can't believe what you all have accomplished all of us have accomplished in a five and a half years. And it's something that the four of us living here couldn't have done alone. It's something even the, our whole Racine Dominican community couldn't have done it without the help of the larger Racine community.